Uh, hey guys, okay, so this is a uh, mommy vlog. For those who aren't pregnant, I'm sorry if my, all my vlogs really have been about motherhood, but uh, that's what happens. So basically, I'm 34 weeks now and I am about three weeks away from giving birth. Um, it's been such a roller coaster. Everything was fine in the beginning, like just to give you guys an update since I wasn't really sharing much online because this is obviously a personal journey, but basically what you go through, you don't learn in school, it just kind of happens. And you just learn as you go and it can be freaky, but if you know that other people are going through the same thing, then you do feel better about yourself and you feel better about everything and you try not to panic too much. Uh, so basically I got pregnant in, I was pregnant in April. Um, I was working the first almost five months of my pregnancy shooting a TV series called Love You Too, which did really well. It was a lot of fun to shoot. We were shooting in a hotel most of the time, so it was very safe for for the baby and I. Uh, throughout my whole pregnancy, if it wasn't for anything internal, I would say I've had the easiest pregnancy ever. No morning sickness, no cravings, no mood swings, no I mean, opposite than Aglilihi, no whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say when we reached five months and we went to the doctors, uh, our baby was in the 10th percentile, meaning it was a very small baby, uh, which got us a bit worried. It was still growing, my baby was still growing, but it was still very small. So uh, I would have to say that was the worst week and a half, two weeks of my life. It went by so slow, I couldn't do anything. I remember just Nico and I were crying every day. Uh, we almost thought we would have to give birth at five months, which was obviously a very scary thing. And hopefully we don't give birth this early. But we'll see. And then I found out that I was um, prone to APAS or thrombosis. So, I was prescribed injections, which are heparin shots or Enohep, uh, which are blood thinners. But wait, wait, wait one hand. Aye. So that's the angle? Yeah. We're going to call it on the side. One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait! You look so nervous, <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be so many complications and I feel so good, so I didn't get it. I couldn't understand why this was happening to me. Oh. <sighs> Baby, we're coming so good. <laughs> yeah, did you hear? <laughs> eh? It's okay. <laughs> my husband was so good at being my nurse. And making sure that he would go to the office later every day just to inject me which is also why i took a leave from work because i just had to chill because i'm a girl that loves to be on the go and i love to work and i i can't just stay at home okay so this independent woman decided to inject herself she decided that she doesn't need her husband help anymore ah. oh my gosh, I it. independent woman oh yeah you're an independent woman you don't need your husband anymore do not divorce me please please do not divorce me i'm still here for you and with the injections, things really worked well. The baby went to 30 percentile, and um, I was able to maintain a good weight for her um, with healthy meals, which which are like basically meals with protein, vegetables, and carbs. Good carbs like brown rice, adlai, quinoa, uh, protein like fish. Obviously, stay away from tuna and everything. Um, after that, things went fine for a while, and then I was put on a 3,000 calorie diet a day, which guys, 3,000 calorie diet is is crazy a lot. Like I usually eat 1,200 calories a day without really counting, but that's how much I eat. So 3,000 would have to be like a bodybuilder. I used to make fun of couch potato people. Check this out. Who this couch potato? Boom. This is a definition of a real couch potato, guys. Watch and learn. Food was all the way here. I'd send a photo to my to my gynae and he would say, you need to eat more. And I already was eating four times the amount I usually eat. So who would have thought that eating would be so hard? 
And then recently, I found out I had placenta calcification, which is when your placenta matures as you grow to your 40th week. Okay, so we're here at the 32nd <laughs> week and three days checkup. Are you confident? I'm praying. Positive? Yeah. Te amo. Uh, thank God for me, uh, I have nine friends that were pregnant at the same time. Some of us were going through the same thing. Um, some of us did have to do the injections, which made me feel better that I, I had someone going through the same thing as me. So if you're going through the same thing, guys, you can do it. Uh, also now, which uh, in case I need to take my baby out earlier, um, I'm taking, I'm doing intralipid I hope I get the terms right. I'm probably just making up all the terms. Intralipid infusion. So this is the intralipid. It looks like thick cow's milk. Going down to the vein. Straight to the baby. Slot it in. Intralipid dates! <laughs> um, there, so I have like three to four weeks and I'm a little bit panicking and it's been such a long road. It's been a long, long journey, but I'm so happy I'm finally at the end. Why am I crying? <laughs> anyway, so, okay, it's the hormones, guys. So is the stuff he knows. So yes, so I had my baby shower, which wasn't the baby shower because, as most of you know, I'm not a baby shower, bridal shower, whatever shower type of person. I like to keep things simple. So it's kind of like a celebration for our girl to be and then just for like friends to come along and get together so we'll be having a casual barbecue so the room is slowly coming along we set the wallpaper and then we're going to make it a bit on the wall we still have to wait for the toilet to be done. So now certain fixtures left. Add this, this extra space for the sterilizer. Um, now I just need to organize the closet and see how I divide the products and everything. So <sighs> see the guys. Throughout the, the year, I'll share with you guys what you actually need, what you probably don't. For now, it's my first, so I'm just like, yes, 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 please, yes, this, this and that, this and that. <laughs> I kind of get a bit crazy. So I'm gonna share this and also the baby's room. So I'll probably be sleeping in the guest room. Because of everything that happened, I wasn't able to go on my baby moon, which was supposed to be in Italy, which we had everything booked for. Uh, so we ended up going to Anilao, just a drive away. In case anything happened, I was near enough. And today we see in our new episode of Fashion with Balls a new fashionable lady, Solène Marie Husavo Sico, wearing a one piece. <laughs> Open my DM record. What, baby? Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, he's recording. <laughs> I'm so tired. I had my baby uh, maternity shoot. My maternity shoot was a lot of fun. Uh, I shot with Mark Nickdow, uh, curator, Pam Quinones, um, Robbie, John, and basically, though I am Miss Hubadera Queen and I wanted a naked shoot, parang everyone's done it, so I kind of just told them, you know, use your creative brains and do what you feel like doing. So we did a um, parang malavogue editorial na photo shoot, which was really beautiful. And since they know that I'm a fan of art and I love to paint and I've been painting while pregnant, uh, Mark and Pam kind of came up with this idea of portraying Frida Kahlo, sorry. 
because Pam also got came back from Mexico and had bought all these stuff. So that was really cool. We're done. Uh, but that's it. Yes. So watch out for my next vlogs for the moms out there. For the non moms, I'm sorry, but maybe watch this in like 10 years. Um, the next videos I will be sharing like things maybe when I decorate the room little by little I'm just gonna write it all in the blog all the details and how you can find them uh, so yeah um, I hope you guys learned a little bit from this journey of mine and to all the pregos there just be patient and know you're not alone in the scary things you might think you're going through um, yeah Mwah. still la vista guys oh baby says hi Bye-bye.